Okay, so today we're going to start our Matt Comp Mondays playlist and watch the video up here for more information on it. Okay, so let's look at the problem. The sum of two numbers is 15 and their product is 16. What is the sum of the reciprocals of the two numbers? Express your answer as a common fraction. So I'm going to let, give you a moment to think while the intro is playing. Roll the intro. Okay, welcome back. To solve this problem, there are two ways to solve it. We can use the simple way or the complicated way, as I like to call it. So, the simple way requires a trick that we'll get into in the second part of this video. But the complicated way, let's, let's solve the using that way. So we have this sum of two numbers is 15 and their product is 16. So, whenever you see something like this, in more complicated math, math competitions, what we do is we use Vieta's formulas. Basically that says in a quadratic, a, ax squared plus bx plus c, the sum of the roots is negative b over a. And the, the product of the roots is just c over a. So this is a complicated formula that I'll get to get into an, into another video. But for now, uh, let's assume a is equal to one to make this problem simpler. And the product and the sum is 15. So then b would have to equal negative 15. Using a similar fashion, c would equal 16. And just like that, we can model a quadratic x squared minus 15x plus 16. And we want the sum of the reciprocals of the two numbers. So we want to set this equal to zero. And if we try factoring, this won't work. So it looks like we're going to have to use the quadratic formula. Okay, so here are our two roots, 15 plus square root of 161 all over two, or 15 minus square root of 161 over two. So, now we have to find the sum of the reciprocals of the two numbers. And this is almost impossible without a calculator, even though this is part of a non-calculator math competition. So let me go get my calculator out. Okay, so I just typed it into my calculator and I got the answer. Point nine three seven five, and this is a difference of zero point zero six two five, which is one sixteenth. So the answer is fifteen over sixteen. And that's our answer. Boy, that was a hard problem, especially since we had to figure out the two roots. That was near impossible. Okay, so let's get on to the solution with the trick, since this was pretty hard. And remember to like and subscribe, as it helps me out a lot. Yeah, do what he says. Okay, so let's get on to the solution with the trick. The sum of two numbers is 15 and their product is 16. So we have two numbers here. Let's call those two numbers A and B. So... The sum of those two numbers are 15. So a plus b equals 15. And their product is 16. So a, b equals 16. So there's a really clever algebra manipulation trick you can do here, where it's basically a plus b over a, b. So let's look at this, right? They're basically those two equations divided by each other. And this equals a over ab plus b over ab, since you just combined them and now we're just separating them. But wait, a over ab is just one over b. And b over ab is just one over a. 
wait, now we have 1 over a plus 1 over b. And isn't that the sum of the reciprocals of the two numbers? Since that's 1 over a plus 1 over b. Because it is, all we have to do is just plug in 15 and 16. So a plus b over ab is 15 over 16. And this remains the same throughout since everything's the same here. So the answer is just 15 over 16. And see, we didn't even have to figure out what the roots were in this problem. We just had to figure out the sum of the reciprocals of the two roots. So that's actually the trick in this problem, being able to realize that you don't actually have to figure out what the two numbers are. Okay, so that was all I had for today, but I hope you enjoyed this extremely fun problem for me, since you just do one simple algebra manipulation trick and you have the answer. So thank you for watching. Please be sure to subscribe down below as it helps me out a lot. And please be sure to comment down below what other problems you would like me to do for Math Comp Mondays or what other problems you'd like me to do every Friday. Okay, I'll see you Friday. Bye.